The Mobius Strip is, by definition, an endless surface, and any attempt to reorient it transforms it into that which it is not. Isn't consciousness akin to this very definitional paradox? My very attempt to correlate it, or analogize it, or reduce it, or explain it, simply upends a genuine understanding of what it is like to experience it. Consciousness isn't a thing to be described among other things, since it is the context, not the content, of what is experienced. More precisely, consciousness cannot be exported as a piece of content, since it is the whole context in which such appearances arise. My attempts to reduce that holism to parts, ipso facto, means that whatever follows will be irretrievably lost in translation. Perhaps Wittgenstein should make an entrance here and suggest that the real difficulty in studying consciousness is a language issue and that some things simply cannot be addressed by our symbolical logical systems. Was Wittgenstein providing us with a warning shot across the bow on studying self-reflective awareness when he concluded his 1919 tome with the quote, whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must be silent?